You're watching the IAA Astrology Channel from the International Academy of Astrology. Visit us online at astrocollege.org. Okay, let's begin. Welcome to the, tw um, the 24th year of the International Academy of Astrology's graduation ceremony. And I'm Jody Forrest, I'm the Education Director, and I'm very, very happy to welcome all of you to this um, exceptionally special event. And I'd like to begin with a brief history of the International Academy of Astrology. Um, before I go further, I've often, I'm often told I have a very soft voice. Do I need to increase my volume for anybody? Okay. Our founder, Ina Stanley, wanted an excellent astrological education to be easily accessible to everybody anywhere in the world who wanted to study the art and science of astrology. So with her fellow astrologer and computer programmer, Ed Peron, she built this school. And we opened in 1997 with Jupiter and Aquarius, which seems fitting, as the online college of astrology. We were the first and at the time only all online college of astrology. And our first classes were all conducted by typing in chat rooms. Today's virtual meeting software didn't exist 24 years ago. We have been through many milestones in these 24 years. In 2000, the very first class graduated. And by 2007, we had students graduating every year. In 2004, Ina began working with Monica Escalante Ochoa to breach the language barrier and make IAA's program accessible to Spanish speakers. When the two of them created our Spanish language department in 2011, the International Academy of Astrology became the first school of astrology to offer a diploma in two different languages, dos idiomas, English and Spanish. In 2012, Ina Stanley won the Regulus Award for Education. For those of you who may not know this, there's a major astrological conference that occurs about every three years, put on by three major astrological organizations, and the Regulus Awards are very important in the astrological community. In 2013, Lee Lehman, former academic dean of Kepler College and also a Regulus Award winner, joined IAA as its vice president. When IAA approached its nodal return in 2015, we developed an integrated model of astrological education, an integrated model that teaches modern astrology and classical astrology side by side to bring our students the best of both worlds. Uh, which can only enrich each other. Lee left in 2018, and August Nina was education director from 2018 to mid-2020, after which Shane Hedrick became operations manager, and I became education director. Over our 24 years of existence, we have continued to refine and expand our curriculum and to hire new instructors in order to expose our students to many different perspectives on astrology. Our graduates can take pride in the legacy of this ever-evolving school. Its rigorous, demanding curriculum is not for the faint of heart, and its dedicated instructors and staff have challenged you to do your very best. Most of all, we recognize that our wonderful graduates are the most important part of IAA. Your dedication to your studies, your discipline, and hard work in applying what you've learned to each and every homework assignment and your love and support of this school are what makes the International Academy of Astrology both possible and also held in high regard by the astrological community. I wish this school had been around when I first started studying astrology. I would have kicked the doors down, the virtual doors down to get in. And it gives me great pride to honor the graduates of IAA's class of 2021. Zahar Ali, John Chinworth, John Harrison, the late Patricia Nicholson, 
her husband Bill is with us here tonight. And from the Spanish language department, Laura Caldez and Adriana Melchon Figueredo. I beg your pardon. We've enjoyed watching you grow and flourish along with your astrological knowledge. We loved teaching you. And we thank you for your warm presence and remarkable insights. We recognize and honor all of your accomplishments here. And we are really looking forward to see, watching you go out and rock the astrological world. Now I would like to turn the mic over to Ina Stanley, our president and founder, whose persistence, faith, and love for all of us has brought us to this joyful occasion that honors our 2021 graduates. Let's have a round of applause for Ina, whose vision for and dedication to astrological education and very hard work has made this evening's ceremony possible. Ina. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm showing up here. We can hear you. You're, I, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Mm. Well, I'm getting it all together here. Okay. Today is a very special day for all of us who gather here. Today is not only the day that marks the end of your long academic journey at the International Academy of Astrology, but also the day that we can celebrate the fact that you prevailed through some of the most intense transits this world has experienced in decades. These transits have changed people's lives all over the world in many ways. The major message that these transits have brought us is that our entire world is in the throes of transformation. Yet during this important time, I'm happy to announce that we can send competent graduates into the world with eth ethics and integrity. We have four students graduating from the professional training department. Zidar Ali from Sarja United Arab Immigrant Emirates. Don Harrison, who is from Rockville Center, New York. John Chinworth from Seattle, Washington. And finally, Patty Nicholson, who is not able to be here in person. She has given up her body and is here in spirit. A transition which made us all sad. But we can also use this opportunity to celebrate Patty's ultimate graduation. Also tonight, Two students from the, our Spanish language department, Laura Ramon Valdez, lives, who lives in uh, uh, Dorchester, Massachusetts, and Adriana Figueredo, I'm sorry about that, is from Bogota, Colum Bogota Colombia. I would like to congratulate all these graduating students and their families for their hard work and intensive, intensive study here at IAA. All of you can be proud of your wonderful achievement. IAA is a student, is, a, is, a, is where students from various places around the world can come together to learn the intricacies of both modern and traditional astrology in English and in Spanish. And soon other languages and cultures will join our ranks. Over 24 years ago, this school was founded as a place where anyone in the world can get a college level education in astrology. But more than that, students here are learning a common language, allowing different cultures to merge naturally. The, 
due to the nature of our international presence, I believe IAA has a special role to play in this ideal future. The future of the world may depend on the cooperation on a person-to-person -person level. And astrology has the components of, of an international language that can empower us with a metaphysical understanding of our, our human experiences, no matter what culture, cultural or origins are, what, where we come from. As a learning environment, IAA is a special place. It is one of the best places to acquire comprehensive astrological education that allows you to take the, that knowledge into your culture as astrological ambassadors. My hope today is that each of you will continue after graduation to keep in touch with each other. I know all of you will be leaders in bringing significant astrologer to astrology to different parts of the world, contributing a greater understanding of ourselves and one another. We need more international alliance, alliance, alliances for the best possible evolution of this world. And in closing, I would like to say, I can only hope that IAA will continue as a place you want to visit after graduation, often in your memory and sometimes in person. You are always welcome to come back. So with these words of wisdom of welcome, congratulations again and good Jupiter returns to all of you. Thank you very much. Now I would like to introduce to you our esteemed Dean of the Spanish Department, Monica Escalante Ochoa. Thank you, Ana. Uh, well, first I'm going to talk in Spanish to Laura and Adriana, and now we'll play the most important in English for you. Eh, Laura y Adriana, estoy muy orgullosa de ustedes. Hicimos un largo camino, nos tomó siete años llegar aquí. Empezamos en septiembre del 2014. Estaba viendo yo que la carta con la que empezamos tenía la luna con Júpiter y Leo. Y estaba haciendo un trígono con Marte que regía la carta. Sí. Casualmente, acabamos también con la conjunción de Júpiter con la luna, ahora en el signo de Pisces, y diciendo al sol que estaba en la carta anual. Yo creo que ha sido un logro muy importante de las dos, y a través, bueno, pues de tantas pausas y de tantas... ...por diferentes razones, pues llegamos aquí. O sea, que es un esfuerzo muy grande de las dos, de diferente manera totalmente preparadas para ello, de forma parcial o de forma total. Una opción de ustedes. Fueron 207 clases que tomaron. Adriana dirá que fueron muchísimas, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, fueron 207, más todo el tiempo que le pusieron ustedes. Pues muchas felicidades a las dos, ya son oficialmente unas astrólogas. Felicidades. Voy a traducirlo en inglés y luego este, le doy la palabra a Adriana y luego a Laura. Y pueden hablar en lo que quieran, ¿sí? Uh, okay, I will relate a little bit what I told them, and I said I am very proud of both of them because all this course took seven years. We started in September 2014, and I was just checking the in the chart when we start, and it was the conjunction between the Moon and, and Jupiter, Leo, making a, a trine to Mars that it was the rule of the ninth house. And now that we just finished, it was also coincidence because well, we have a change the dates a lot. But we finish also with another conjunction with Jupiter and the Moon in Pisces and making a trine to the Sun. So I mean that they have a very good knowledge on astrology and I, I am sure that they can both work as astrologers, like professional, part-time or full-time, wherever they wish. And well, they took 207 classes. I mean, so it's a lot of classes, but I mean that they are very well prepared and it took a lot of time and energy 
for both of them, and I wish them a very successful life and a struggle. Now I will let Adriana talk, and then Laura is going to talk. Adriana. Hi, everyone. My name is Adriana Marchand, and I'm very happy to be here. Eh, Monica, fueron muchas clases. Eh, fue un camino muy largo. Eh, una compañera increíblemente diferente a mí, pero increíble. Mucho tiempo juntas y espero que sigamos compartiendo muchos momentos de aquí en adelante. Um, soy feliz siendo astróloga. La astrología en mi vida es una pasión. Es la magia de vivir en el 99% que no se toca, no se huele, no se siente, no se saborea. Eh, estoy feliz. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to finish this. And I'm very happy to continue my, my life with this, um, this magic work. I'm so, 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 so happy. And thank you, Monica, for all your love. Eh, Laura, te quiero, o sea, thank you, thank you to the, to the AAA. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know why I, I know you. I don't know why I, I came to this school, but I'm very glad. I'm so happy. I'm really, really so happy. And see you soon, Monica. Thank you. Creo que terminé, Mónica. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Ramon. I'm originally from Mallorca, Spain, but I, for life stuff, I ended up in Boston. And uh, when I uh, re was really, really want to learn about astrology, and um, I couldn't find anything. I wasn't feeling comfortable in English back then, and I couldn't find anything that I was feeling, uh, you know, comfortable with it. And I found the International Academy of Astrology under more, with, with the Spanish section, and it looked so good. And um, so. Um, I feel like I have, we have accomplished a lot within these years of taking classes. But one of the most important things about learning astrology is that it made me feel a better person. It made me understand myself in a way that I didn't know it was possible. And um, also it made me uh, understand other people, even people that I didn't know that it was possible to understand. So, um, I don't know, you learn to have empathy. Uh, you know, when you look at the other child, you understand how they are acting, you put yourself in other person's shoes. Um, and I wouldn't, you know, that all these classes, all these years, it's been a real pleasure. And I will do it again from the day one. It's, it's been a lot of fun. It, you know, Monica is an amazing teacher, but she also is a strict when she needs to be. <laughs> so uh, I really appreciate it. And um, astrology is an amazing knowledge if you honor it. And uh, it's a pleasure for me to honor it. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank you so much, all of you, for giving me the opportunity. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, in case you did not know, so far in our 24 year history, before tonight, 52 students have graduated from this extremely demanding and complex and very thorough program. And tonight we have six more people to add. So our graduates now number 58. Our graduates have worked extremely hard and I'm sure faced a lot of frustrations and a lot of time crunches and need a lot of dedication to arrive where they have arrived tonight. They've excelled in order to arrive. We are very, very proud of them and we are going to have 
so much fun and so much pleasure and so much pride in watching them in their careers. And now I would like to ask our English speaking graduates to say something about yourselves and your experience in a program at IAA and a little bit about your plans for your astrological future and your new IAA diploma. Um, please welcome first Sahar Ali um, from the United Arab Emirates, specifically Dubai. Hello, Sahar. Hello, Judy, and good morning from here. Um, actually, it is always a good morning from my side. Since I started here, I started in the early morning, and now here again, I'm ending this journey. It will never be the end, but always it will be at early morning. I, I'm not sure if someone else would be uh, wake up at this time, but you can imagine how much passion I have for astrology. I have to wake up in the early morning to come to attend the class, and I'm so grateful for your uh, giving uh, teachers uh, your your method of uh, supporting and uh, explaining the astrology. So give me the chance to thank you uh, for uh, this beautiful journey, and uh, allow me uh, to to say a few words. Um, I, I'm not sure if my accent is clear for you. So just let me uh, say a few words for you. Uh, at this time, this journey is going to end, but I'm sure I will come back again, again, and will take from this uh, knowledge that you have. And for me, it will never end. Um, at this time, we have difficult days while we were still facing the pandemic. Humanity is being tested. For, this, uh, for its entitlement to survive on Earth. And the more we raise the value of human being, the more we succeed. If the circumstances were different, I think this ceremony would have taken place in a different way. But the beautiful part about it, it, um, it, it will be always to strive to meet, to be together. I'm so happy and so honored to be one of your students who have been taught, taught by professional and giving teachers at your academy who know very well the importance of astrology as a language. Actually, I learned from you and from astrology since I started uh, even my, um, let's say, individual research. Um, this is the language of universe which will unite humanity uh, on one goal, that all lives matters. Um, and um, if we go throughout the history, all ancient civilization knew how to elevate themselves after they learned how to listen and understand the voice of universe, which comes from the translation of uh, astrology and making, making it as a language can be read. We may speak here different languages. We may come from different cultures and religions but we are united here to embrace that sound and tuned with its wisdom. It speaks to us saying that life is greater than any ideologies we've been fighting for. And this is the message I will give through my YouTube channel and my um, small, let's say, Baby Step Academy. I might be the first and uh, the only um, certified professional astrological in Arabic countries. And I would like to take the chance to open that door to our uh, people and let them open their eyes to this um, language, which is the um, universe language. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And I'm so honored that I'm graduation, my, my graduation is coming from your academy. Thank you. Thank you, Sitar. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Sahar. And the next person to speak, um, if he cares to, would be John Schindler. Hello, John. Hi, everybody. Um, it's been quite a journey for me. I, I guess I took the scenic route, a lot of detours. Um, from what I calculate, I'm graduate number 55. 
I like the idea of numbering graduates from IAA. I think it's kind of cool. Makes it kind of a unique, special thing. Um, it's a really unique, special school. Um, some things I enjoyed were the camaraderie. Uh, I really liked how, in the beginning, IAA started to make sense out of all the book reading we all do. When we started as astrologers, and IAA puts it in order for you, which is a really nice thing. The organization of techniques, uh, especially timing techniques. And I really like the ethics class, which I would love to see expand more in the astrological universe, get more people on board with ethics. Um, I go out into the universe, I'll keep reading charts, uh, help people understand themselves and the strange times that we live in is my goal. I'm interested in uh, bridge building in the astrological community between different branches and um, I'm interested in studying more of the Sabian symbols and more of ethics. I'm going to continue taking classes and workshops in my AA because it's been such a great thing in my life. Um, not sure what else to say. Just thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here and to have this. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Now, um, Don Harrison, you are next on my list. Okay, hello everyone. Um, so this has been a long time coming for me as I think I took my first class with IAA almost 10 years ago. And one of the things that I've realized is that timing really is everything because somehow, though it has taken quite a while, this seems to really be the perfect time for me to graduate from this uh, diploma program. Um, over the last year and a half, I found the courage to launch my private astrology practice, and I've been seeing a steady stream of clients ever since, and I owe much of my readiness and confidence to do that um, to the really firm and solid foundation in astrology knowledge that I received from this program. And so for that, I will be forever grateful. Um, I am so grateful for all of the talented and versatile teachers um, that we have had the honor of um, studying with here at IAA and helping to really nourish our love of astrology. And so again, I just want to say thank you for that. Um, I plan on putting this diploma to good use. This is truly, truly a special program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don. Um, and I come now to uh, Patty Nicholson, who's represented here this evening by her husband, Bill. Uh, Bill, would you like to say a few words? Does someone need to turn on Bill's mic? Bill, there should be a microphone icon at the bottom of your screen that you may click if you'd like to. Uh, oh, great. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity to speak on Patricia's behalf. Um, it's, a, it's an honor for me to um, accept a diploma for her. Um, it was a really uh, big challenge. Uh, she, she struggled and she enjoyed it. Um, she was uh, very... Um, appreciative and, and proud of her accomplishment to complete the program after many years. She had a long road um, and she was very happy to find IAA. She tried different, um, different programs in the past and ended up here and was, um, was totally satisfied and um, honored to participate. Um, she tried many different fields of exploration of, of self from meditation to energy medicine and other fields, kind of a mystic. And uh, definitely astrology was her, her true love. And um, I'm hoping she's practicing for all our benefits as she kind of headed off into the stars um, personally uh, at, at the time of graduation, really. 
back in uh, January is when she passed. So um, again, thank you for this opportunity and I just want to say she did really enjoy and um, benefit from the program and, and was very proud of the accomplishment and the uh, survival of the diligent program that you guys set up. So thank you again. I'm very honored to, to be here for her. Thank you, Bill. We're very glad to have thank you. So much, Bill. Yes. Well, at this time, I would like to open up the cyber floor um, to anyone who would like to speak. So you can either turn on your camera or raise your hand if it's already on, if you would like to uh, address us. I'm going to miss you guys. That's all I can say. I'm going to miss you all. <laughs> Gotten used to you being in, you know, every semester and... And I really, I know John's been with us for a hundred million years. I'll miss you, but you still, we're still in touch. So it's, it'll be, everything's going to be great. Yay. That's all for me. Okay. Hi, Dorothy. You should. Um, I'd, like to, okay. I'd like to add my congratulations to everyone. Uh, you know what always, um, I, I suppose it shouldn't be surprising, but uh, it always is a delightful surprise to um, to see the dedication, you know, of, of the students and especially, you know, those of you who are graduating today, uh, you know, dedication and your love for the art and philosophy of astrology is uh, thrilling because I know you're going to, as you've all said, you're going to take it further. You're going to take it out into the world and and uh, it, it's so enriching. Um, and you all know that. And, you know, that's, that's why you're here. That's why you're graduating. And uh, all I can say is I just wish you the, you know, the very, very best. And it's been my honor and my great pleasure to teach all of you, all unique and, um, uh, exciting to uh, correct your homework. <laughs> I love correcting your homework. Um, so again, I just thank you and congratulations and um, enjoy the journey, the continued journey. Because I know once astrology, uh, you know, grabs you, uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to let go and, and it'll stay with you, you know, I hope for the rest of your lives. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you so much. Is anyone else? Um, I, I would like to say something if my dog stops barking. They always choose the moment I turn the microphone on to bark. Um, but I'd, I'd just like to say as one of the oldies in astrology now, and I'm not quite sure how I got here because I only started yesterday. Uh, but there was a time in the early 2000s and the late 90s where we used to look around and think, where are all the young astrologers? What are we going to do when it becomes our time to go? Uh, and I am so thrilled that I look around nowadays and I see all of you youngsters, and by young, I mean anyone under 60. Um, you are all the hope of the future that astrology in itself is changing and it is really delightful to see the way it's changing and to see you guys coming up uh, I didn't have the pleasure of teaching any of you I don't think um, but I am so thrilled that you're going to take this forward you're going to spread the word as they say uh, and be instructors and lecturers of the future and it is my congratulations uh, go forth and spread the word. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so Shane, much. Shane, were you going to say something earlier? I beg your pardon. No, I just noticed I had my mic on, so I turned it off. I would like to contrast a little bit program that our graduates have just been through with how many of us learned astrology, which can best be described as seat of our pants. Um, 
reading here, reading there, taking a course here, taking a course there, trying to put a whole lot of um, bits of information into a conceived and um, cohesive whole that would give us an informed body of knowledge from which to work and also a lot of tools from which to work, both the theory and the practice of astrology as in the practice with clients. And I'm very proud to be part of a program that I think is the best one I've seen. I've been in the field formally since 1983, and I started studying astrology when I was eight years old, which was a very long time ago. Um, I'm proud to have been working with you. I'm proud to have taught some of you, and I'm delighted to see you graduating tonight, and I can't wait to see what you're going to go do. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's been a long road for uh, several of you, like John. Hello, John. Good to see you. Um, and I had the pleasure of teaching Patricia Patty, so I am glad to see her in spirit graduating. And also, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Sahar. So, congratulations to you um, and to, to Dawn. I never got to meet you, but congratulations as well. Felicidades uh, a Laura and Adriana. Um, and uh, yeah, con mucho gusto. And, um, you know, buena suerte. Um, and uh, Monica, for doing such a great job in terms of the school. Uh, and what you do in terms of the Spanish department, we hope to see that grow. And uh, to all the instructors like Dorothy, um, Greg, um, I think Chris, you have taught for us and with us. So, and then I see Susan is here and Jody, of course, and uh, Shane. And, and also I can't forget uh, Kathy. So thank you for the work you're doing in terms of the instruction. So congratulations to all. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. I just want to say um, congratulations to everybody. Um, you don't know me, I'm the host coordinator at IAA, but a few years ago I was also in your shoes receiving my diploma. That was um, nine years ago. So I know what effort it takes, so you should all be proud of, uh, of yourself. You, uh, you have accomplished something with this diploma. And like Ina said, uh, you know, she hopes that you come back to the school, that we see you again. One good way is to uh, maybe join the team of hosts if you, if you like. So I will probably reach out to you guys in the next few weeks to see if you, you would like to do it. And uh, it's a way to be to be again connected with the school in a different way, in a fun way. I wish you all the best and congratulations again. Thank you, Anne Christine. I guess I'll add my congratulations to everyone as well. I graduated two years from the school two years ago I mean um, and it is it, it is a lot of work huh <laughs> and um, but it was a wonderful journey and I'm so happy to see you guys um, coming to this point in yours thank you Shane well I'd like to say something if that's okay I, I am new to the board and but it's very inspiring to hear all the stories and and the dedication. I know how much dedication it takes to uh, to commit yourself to astrology. But uh, once it gets under your skin, I think as Dorothy said, uh, there's no escaping. Essentially, <laughs> uh, I was blessed in the beginning to have had a systematic uh, education from 
Chris McRae. And so I know the value of having a solid, well-educated teachers yourself, because it isn't, like when I learned astrology, and I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was, uh, you know, first of all, nobody ever talked about astrology, much less studied it. And so I think that uh, I know how much dedication it requires, and I congratulate you all on, on all the effort and the commitment and the passion that you obviously have for what is a very beautiful language of symbols. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much. That's not wrong. Um, would anybody else like to say a few words? I'd like to just thank everybody as well and congratulations to you all. Um, feet firmly on the ground from here in, um, in Australia on Earth Central. Um, go out and enjoy the sky as well. Connect with the sky. Connect our experiences by looking upwards to the heavens. There's a beautiful sky above us. Take the opportunity to, if you if you possibly can, to experience that out in in some dark area and just look up and meditate and see and bring this virtual experience that we go through when we learn astrology. Um, and from that connection around the globe where we're in front of the screen uh, is wonderful what the IAA does. Enable, enabling us to reach out to everybody from Russia to, to Chile. It's, uh, it's an incredible um, organization to be able to do that. And I'm very proud to be able to represent them. Um, but I also like to, to sort of say that the lived experience for where astrology roots came from is also an important part to us. Uh, and that's why I, I kind of say, go out and just feel it um, and, and that will enhance, I'm sure it'll enhance your journey and I wish you well on your journey. Don't forget, astronomy plays a very important role in understanding what we are doing as astrologers, the language of the sky, the symbology of it, transferred into archetypes. Um, if we take that moment to understand the integral part of all the working of the earth, if you like, as the center, like our ancients do, even though we live in a heliocentric going around the sun, we are the center of the universe. We are the blue planet and the only planet that has life on it so far. Um, as we move into the um, artificial intelligence age and we uh, go to other planets, like we just visited Mars and we're still there and um, We've taken our first flight uh, on Mars and, um, you know, the earthly experience is, <laughs> is now spreading. So um, it's exciting, as Chris Turner mentioned there, for the young people coming up and how astrology is changing so much. And you guys are leading this onwards. We're the sort of people that started back in the, in the 80s and now, well, for Chris back in the 70s and 60s <laughs> and Ina I'm not quite sure how far that goes back <laughs> but I'm very proud to have met both. <laughs> yeah. met both met both of them and um and uh look uh congratulations I can only wish you um the stellar universe and the cosmos stays with you in your heart thank you Greg thank you very much Thank you, everybody. Um, unless someone else has uh, another comment they would like to make, I think we have um, come to our conclusion. Is there someone who'd like to say anything else? Please feel free to speak up. Applause for the graduates. How about that? That's the next thing I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about that, Jody. That's perfectly okay. I like it when people read my mind. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. Thank you for being here with us tonight. And thank you for everything that you um, do for IAA. Bless all of you.
and good evening. You're watching the IAA Astrology Channel from the International Academy of Astrology. Visit us online at astrocollege.org.